A six-year-old boy hospitalized with burns to half of his body after he was hurt in a bonfire explosion. Family members say an adult poured gasoline on the flames, causing an explosion that set the boy on fire. Fox 10's Nicole Garcia joins us live tonight with more. Nicole. Christina, six-year-old Carson was at a neighbor's house in Prescott when this bonfire accident happened. He was then flown here to the Arizona Burn Center at Valley Wise Health on Sunday night, and now he's in a medically induced coma. He's got several surgeries and a very long road to recovery ahead of him. He's a miracle. I'm glad he's here because it could have been a lot worse than it was. This six-year-old survived a horrific explosion while at a get-together at a neighbor's home in Prescott. His mother was not with him at the time. When I got to the hospital at the ambulance, he looked at me and he said, Mommy, I'm going to be okay. I'm okay. And he kept telling everyone that, so I know that he's going to be okay. She says Carson has second and third degree burns over half of his body. His worst are his arms, hands, legs, toes and feet, and his chest on his left side. His left side got the worst. According to Prescott Police, there was no foul play involved, and the explosion was ruled an accident. Carson's mother says she was told that the boy happened to be near the gas can, which held the gasoline that was poured on the bonfire, and the can exploded. He'll never be the same. He was a very outgoing boy. He had a very big heart. Carson is a strong little boy. He's going to have to stay here at the hospital for at least the next three months. Now, his family lives up in Prescott. His mom tells me she's looking for a temporary place to live here in Phoenix so that she can stay by his side. Back in 2018, a similar incident happened to a nine-year-old Phoenix girl when her father poured gasoline onto a fire in a fire pit, and she stayed nine months here at the Arizona Burn Center. Carson's family has set up a fundraising page to raise money for medical expenses and transportation costs. And if you'd like to help out, you can find the link on our website at fox10phoenix.com. Reporting live, I'm Nicole Garcia, Fox 10 News.